Okay, now I'm going to go over um, some basic glass glare techniques. Um, glass glare is a problem that you know we have all the time, um, and it's it's pretty common. I think throughout the industry, you run into glass glare. This is a pretty typical example of, of glass glare, and I've shown this example several times. I've actually had a video of this, but this is kind of a newer version, uh, higher res, um, just better all around. But this is the this is the version that I usually use because it also illustrates um, the power of layer masks. And what you can do if you have glass glare problems is simply ask uh, the subject to take their glasses off and get a shot of them without their glasses. Um, that's really the easiest way to fix this. I mean, you can go after an image like this for hours if you want to and try to fix that. And a lot of times the person will end up looking worse than what they did when you started. Uh, I found that out uh, the hard way several times. Um, for whatever reason, I just didn't learn. Um, until at one point, I learned that you can take a picture of the person without their glasses, select just with the lasso tool, select around their eyes. It can be a pretty loose selection just as long as you have enough space around their eyes. And with uh, your keyboard, just hit Command or Control C for copy. Then go to the image in question and hit Command or Control V for paste. And you'll notice that uh, that portion, that selection, uh, shows up on its own separate layer. Um, so you just kind of line that up as best you can. And then a little trick that I learned is you can go into your layer modes and change it from normal to difference. So that then you can kind of line it up by looking through it almost as if, it, as if it's a negative. And you can line up the eyes. So I'm really focusing on her right eye, her left eye as we're looking at it. And I can line it up and then use my arrow keys to get it as close as possible. And then I'll throw a free transform on that layer with command or control T. And you'll notice that it's got this little axis point here. I'll put that over the eye. And now I can rotate the image on this axis point. Rather than rotating it here in the middle, I'll rotate it on the axis point, which is over her eye that I lined up at the beginning. And get that other eye lined up well. And then hit Enter and apply that. And then go back and change my layer mode to normal. And then apply a layer mask, which is right here. Give me my white layer mask. Now nothing changes with a white layer mask, so that is actually not ideal. What I really want to apply is a hide all layer mask, which is a black layer mask. So if I go undo and hold down my alt or option key and hit that same button, I get a black layer mask. So that's another little trick. Um, and then at that point, I want to use a white fuzzy brush or feathered brush on my black layer mask because I'm going to reveal selectively on the hide all layer mask whatever I want. Well in this case I just want to reveal her eyes. I'm also going to take care of a uh, lens refraction uh, through her glasses and bring her face back. Now you'll notice that uh, I'm doing this I mean it's quick there's no doubt which is nice but at the same time what it also does is it kinda fades out her glasses here you can see how that faded out well, because it's on a layer mask, all I have to do is change my foreground color from white to black, make my brush a little smaller, and go in and bring back her glasses all the way around. Now I'm hiding that layer again that didn't have her glasses, which is revealing the layer that does have her glasses. Um, basically, all you need to know that with layer masks, black hides, white reveals. Black hides white reveals. Okay? So that's just a really quick way to fix glass glare and a great way to use layer masks to save time.